Hi everyone and welcome to the Goon Squad tutorial. My name is Zero and I'll be your teacher for today. So what we're doing today is closing your eyes for your sleeping or role play needs. Now I know back in the day we used to have to use facial and uh, let me take this off. We used to have to use facial uh, face animators to close your eyes and they aren't exactly the best thing because of the expressions that you have to do in order to close your eyes. I mean, I imagine sleeping like this or, you know, sleeping like this. It was no good. So I have a solution to get around that to help you be able to close your eyes, either both eyes or one eye, without having to use one of these or an alpha map to do it. Well, you'll have to alpha out your eyelashes because sometimes they get in the way. But other than that, that's about it. So let's dive into this tutorial. What you're going to need is a copybot viewer to grab uh, your face texture, um, your skin texture. You're going to need that because you have to texture your eyes, and um, you're going to need your XM your shape XML to import. So once you have your shape exported in an XML form, we're going to import it in Blender by going to File, Import, Shape as Avastar and then import it into Blender. I'm gonna wait for it to load. All right. When you have your shape imported like this, the loops are usually selected. If they're not, you can just click on the loops and then select them. Once your loops are selected, go over here to, let's make this a little bit bigger, the menu object tab, which is this little cute button right here. And we're gonna select that and scroll down until you see the expressions panel here with the Avastar plugin. Now, I'm gonna zoom in on my face so you can see what's going on. The expressions are the default Second Life expressions, you know, the ones we love and hate, uh, the, the kiss and the embarrassed or wink and things like that, you know, the ones that we're used to. Now, below that are the non-edible ones, the good stuff. The shape keys that we can use to further customize our face like uh, the blink um, the smile a little more smile less or who's and ass <laughs> of your face we're gonna focus on just the blink left and right for this tutorial so turn the blink right and the blink left all the way up to the max so it's like one or 100 percent and I'm going to deselect my eyebrows, eyelashes, because we don't need them. Um, and now we're going to export our head when it's in the state. So I'm going to go to File, Export, the Collada Avastar one. And I'm going to name this, so my desktop, and I'm going to name this New Tutorial Head Sleep. Okay. Now we're going to go over to a new layer. And import pal import day and select the one that I just saved, which was called uh, new 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 tutorial head sleep. And you see the face is exported, the head is exported, and the eyes are closed. Now you can just stop right here and just import this in a second life, and then put your skin texture on top of this, and then you'll have yourself sleeping. I mean, of course, you would want to have closed your mouth before you. Um, import it in world but just in case you don't want that you just want to close your eyes and leave your mouth open for stuff like lip syncing um, this is where this that part of the tutorial comes in place so what I'm going to do now is select the head and press tab and then go down here and make sure that the face select is selected I'm going to press the oh I forgot I forgot, forgot, forgot. once again keep forgetting to turn my display on so you guys can say follow along okay now you're gonna press the C key and we're going to select the eyes that we want to export so I'm going to cut out this little superhero mask shape on the face don't worry if you grab everything anything else we're gonna cut that out later so we just do this and on the sides too. If you is it real if it's really bothering you, just hold in the middle mouse button and drag it across and you can just deselect 
everything. So I'm going to select everything over here. And you guys too. All right. So now we have our sleeping mask slash superhero mask selected. We're going to press the P key and select by selection. And go into object mode real quick. Select the cutout part. Press the M key and move it to another layer, the third layer. I'm going to select the parts that got left behind. Once again, pressing the C key, zoom in here and here. I'm doing the things we do at the squad. I think I should use this when I'm slacking off. All right, so got the rest of the, <laughs> all of the face. I'm just gonna press the middle key and deselect the stuff I don't want. And that's everything and I'm gonna press P again do that selection object mode grab it put it back on the third layer and I think that's oh yeah I always leave one little tiny triangle behind so let's select the little triangle again uh, press P select oops P and by selection move it over to the third layer and then we're going to go over to the third layer. And there you see our sleeping mask. Um, if you want, you can leave it like this and then import it in world. But I'm going to try to make it a little bit easier and just cut out the eyes. I don't really like you bringing the nose in. So I'm just going to press tab again and cut out the nose bridge and just get these little eyelash tab, oh, one of those things, eyelid tabs. And the rest of his nose. And I'm going to press P, select, and hit delete. And I think those are really good eye caps. Let me clean it up a little more. Alright, that, that should be about good. That should be pretty good. Now, one last thing. Say you're a role-playing, you have a character that has one eye closed, you know, a la Sir Arn from Final Fantasy X. You want to just be, select the eye. Make sure you get all of the eye. Oh, wait, I forgot to join everything. Let's join these parts. Only to tear them apart again. And uh, select everything. And go back here and select those pieces. Move it aside and see if you got it. Okay. And then press P and by selection. So now you have two separate eye parts. I actually think I left part of this eye connected. So I'm just going to bring this back. Grab the rest of my eye junk. Okay. Um, join. All right. All right. So now we have two eyelids. We're gonna export them out together. Actually, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna duplicate them real quick. Okay. And then join this pair. So now I have a pair of eyes that are joined together, and then one that are not I'll just select these two and export them as a default colada we don't want to do it as an alistar because it won't and we're going to select a second life aesthetic now we could do the rigged one but and it would be rigged but every time I tried to do that they just went behind my eyes so I 
don't understand why that happens. Close the eyelids. Start day. So you can experiment that with that if you want, or you can just export it as a static like I'm going to do, and then we try to uh, put them properly on your face. So back in world, we're going to import our mesh eyelids. Like so. And we're going to put your eyelids on your nose. <laughs> Attach to your nose. And then they'll be on your face. Now, earlier I said you needed a copybot viewer to grab your skin texture. I already did that. So I'm going to select the texture and drag it over. Let's see, where did I put it? There you go. And I'm going to turn this to white. Mesmerizing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and bring this here. And you just adjust it onto your face like so. You may have to rotate it a bit to get it to fit. And it could take a little bit of time. So I'm going to pause it real quick while I rotate it onto my face. Okay, so I'm still rotating. I'm not really good at this, but I found that it's easy if I take off my hair. And then try to adjust it in, you know, pull this up. Yeah, I got it on my first try. Neat. I guess all I did was <laughs> remove my hair. All right. So with your hair removed and your eyes in place. And there we go. You can put your hair back on and there you have it your eyes are closed without having to use the face animator and if you're role-playing you can just select one of your eye and open it up so you just have one eye open looking around like that and if you want, you can get creative and, you know, since you already have your skin texture, draw scars or tattoos or whatever you want and go for that cool one eye closed injured character look that's in season these days. So that's about does it for this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. Oh, wait, I forgot. I got to add in more Goon Squad stuff. <laughs> uh, that's it for today's Goon Squad tutorial. I hope it helped you out with your projects and good luck and have fun. See you guys.